Well, hey guys, good morning. Um, I know it's been a few days since I post anything, um, but I've been obedient to Jesus. He had me um, upload some long videos to YouTube at Seek Heavenly Things. So those were just um, the prophecies he's given me since December 30th. I ran out of storage on my phone though, so um, I had to do it like in two videos, but I still haven't finished yet because I ran out of storage again on the second one. So I have one more to do hopefully, but maybe two more just to get all the prophecies on one. So if you wanna study, you know, what God said um, and write down the scriptures, they're all in the description under the messages by dates on YouTube, okay? So um, yesterday while I was um, working on that, the Lord gave me another message. And like I said, guys, I don't know what a lot of this means. You know, when he speaks about Purim, and he talks about, um, you know, how he loves his Jewish people. I don't know if that means something's going to happen on, on Purim. You know, I have no idea. I'm just being obedient reading his messages. And it kind of feels like there's a pattern to a lot of his messages. Um, so, I don't know. I guess we just have to just keep looking up every day is all we can do. And um, for the people worrying about me, I'm fine. A lot of, you know, different changes in my life right now. Um, a lot of... Uh, haters and online persecution but um which affect my personal life as well but that's okay because uh, God has a plan and um I am totally fine with all of it okay so the first thing he gave me was um Purim Purim my holy day my feast day oh how I love my Jewish people the day to be redeemed the day to remember Philippians 2 8 and being found in appearance as a man he humbled himself and became obedient to the point of death even the death of the cross Esther 5 6 at the banquet of wine the king said to Esther what is your petition it shall be granted you what is your request up to half the kingdom it shall be done Esther 6 8 let a royal robe be brought which the king has worn and a horse on which the king has ridden which has a royal crest placed on its head Malachi 3 9 you are cursed with a curse for you have robbed me even this whole nation first Peter 2 11 <clears throat> beloved I beg you as sojourners and pilgrims abstain from fleshly lusts which war against the soul children are you awake yet destruction is coming I feel a quake in the air has the US map severed yet so I don't know guys he told me in a previous video that um the U.S. map is going to sever. It's going to be a big earthquake in California. So God likes to give a lot of warnings. I've noticed in messages before things come true. And some of these things could be after the rapture. I don't know. He doesn't give me a timeline. Um, and then he gave me Colossians 3, 7. In which you yourselves once walked when you lived in them. Jude 1, 4. For certain men have crept in unnoticed who long ago were marked out for this condemnation ungodly men who turn the grace of our God into lewdness and deny the only Lord God and our and our Lord Jesus Christ judges 5 4 Lord when you went out from Sarah when you marched from the field of Edom the earth trembled and the heavens poured the clouds also poured water Matthew 21 7 they brought the donkey and the colt, laid their clothes on them, and set him on them. Matthew 28, 5. But the angel answered and said to the woman, Do not be afraid, for I know that you seek Jesus, who was crucified. Malachi 2, 5. My covenant was with him, one of life and peace, and I gave them to him that he might fear me. So he feared me and was reverent before my name. Okay, sorry, I had a phone call. I'll call him back. Uh, where was I? Okay, Malachi 2.8. But you have departed from the way. You have caused many to stumble at the law. You have corrupted the covenant of Levi, says the Lord of hosts. Famine, famine, famine. Oh, how is it going to cover the whole land? Africa is going to experience it. Egypt, the dark ruler, has risen. Do you understand what's happening yet? At midnight, darkness will fall upon you. Put on your spiritual armor. That battle has begun. So I'm thinking he's taking the, talking about spiritual battle, you know, and darkness being like evil. Not sure. 
1 Thessalonians 4, 9, But concerning brotherly love, you have no need that I should write you, for you yourselves are taught by God to love one another. 1 Thessalonians 4, 11, That you also aspire to lead a quiet life, to mind your own business, and to work with your own hands as we commanded you. Job 7, 8, The eyes of him who will see me will see me no more. While your eyes are upon me, I shall no longer be. <clears throat> Why do you still reject me, children? Don't you know I'm coming to save you? My hour is here. Are you still looking up? You will see me in the clouds soon. The moon, remember what I told you, will get bigger, brighter, and redder. Just remember, redemption draws nigh, and you don't want to be stuck with no oil in your lamps. The groom came, and the people slept. At midnight, darkness falls upon us. Are you prepared? Are you ready? Remember, this is a spiritual battle. You have to be in constant prayer with me. Angels and demons will be in their battle, but you have to be in constant prayer with me. I am your protector. Gemini, 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 oh, how close it is. Virgo, the moon at her feet. Taurus, Leo, do you see the pattern yet? Signs in the heavens, I am so close. The bride will be caught up soon. Now I'm hoping Jesus saves knows what that means because I don't follow the constellation stuff. So astronomy kind of goes way over my head. <laughs> uh, Leviticus 3.11, and the priest shall burn them on the altar's food and offering made by fire to the Lord. Jeremiah 13.5, so I went and hid it by the Euphrates as the Lord commanded me. Acts 4.8, then Peter filled with the Holy Spirit said to them, rulers of the people and elders of Israel. 2 Timothy 3.7, always learning and never able to come to the knowledge of the truth. Confess your sins to me, believe in me, and I will forgive you by the power and thine of the Holy Spirit. Rely on the Holy Spirit for true understanding. Matthew 21, 9. Then the multitudes who went before and those who followed cried out, saying, Hosanna to the son of David. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. John 3, 5. Jesus answered, Most assuredly, I say to you, unless one is born of water and the Spirit, he cannot enter the kingdom of God. Okay, guys, that was it. And um, baptize is always good. You know, baptism is great for a public announcement, but you know, Jesus is the living water, okay? So being under him is like baptism of, of Jesus. So, you know, you're saved by your faith and his grace. Um, so just keep believing, guys. Confess your sins and he will forgive you. Um, and thank you for all the prayers out there. You know, all the lovely people. I love you guys so much. And, um, you know, let's pray for the people who you know, are mocking and scoffing because they don't know, guys. They don't know. And, you know, I love those people and, and I just pray that they wake up. And I'm not perfect, by all means, I'm not perfect. So I'm doing what I truly believe in my heart. And I know someone said something about heart can be wicked or whatever, but I take everything, I take everything to Jesus and I pray about it. And um, I, you know, I, I don't know guys it's just something that I feel in my soul and um you know God he confirms it confirms it with the Jesus clock all the time that I have in my house that my grandma gave me it's pretty awesome he confirms it with scripture never in front of my bible and he gives me all those things so always ask the Holy Spirit for understanding and don't rely on me you know don't ever take my word for anything always go to God and get him to give you confirmation Okay, guys, if you want to check out the videos and study, it's Seek Heavenly Things at, um, on YouTube. And then you can always email me there, seekheavenlythings at gmail.com. I'm still trying to catch up, you know, between um, my personal things I have going on right now. I just have not had time, but I promise I will get to them. And if you need prayer, let me know in the emails as well. Okay, guys, I love you. Have a great day.